Hello everyone, welcome back to Desks and Dorks, one of the only board game design and creation podcasts that's completely shaped by you. Thanks for tuning in to this extremely special um, episode where I go solo. As always, I am your host, Riley, otherwise known as The Desk, in this little segment I like to call The Desk Reviews. Today we're not going to be talking about an actual board game or anything that's already released, but actually a new Kickstarter that launches on November 10th that's called The Wanderer's Guide. So you see millions of battle maps and combat-oriented helpers for all of your favorite tabletop games, but very rarely do you not only see a game assistant for your average trip to the city, but one with visual aids, NPCs with multiple quest starter hooks, and cutaway-style pages that open up some of the sections to see the inner details of the city. Couple all of that with lay flat binding and dry erase pages, and we're golden. To be transparent, I do only have the digital content kit that Joe over at Panda was kind enough to send to Desks and Dorks, which again, we very much appreciate. But that means that I can only comment on a small portion of the content and have no physical hands on time with the finished product and can't say anything about the quality. But this is definitely something that I'm looking forward to. Don't forget that you can click the link in the description to get notified when it launches on Kickstarter. And with that, we're going to go ahead and start talking a little bit about the pledge levels. So for $20, it gets you the digital file kit for all of the quarantine DMs out there or those of you that just prefer playing online. This is a lot more akin to what I'm currently playing with, um, but with so much more. Again, I only have a small segment um, with not even the fully finished artwork, but so far it looks amazing, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. You have the city and location maps, a larger scale region map, the NPCs with all those variable starter hooks that work for literally just about any system or setting, whether it's based in Dungeons and Dragons, whether it's based in Pathfinder, a homebrew campaign, a homebrew system, throwing it back to Savage Worlds, DCC, you have many options. So definitely, for 20 bucks, if you're a fan of playing online, this has got you covered. Personally, the $35 pledge level is the most appealing to me, since the book itself is going to be a $40 MSRP once it's released. But not only do you get the physical book, you get a digital version, a token pack, and a giant map. And for the Kickstarter exclusive, I believe you also get the cartographer's map, which is awesome. There are some higher levels, so for $60 and $99 respectively, there's two different tiers of world building kits that have a bunch of different add-ons, some NPC cards, DM screens, and extras. The $99 one even has custom dice um, for the Wanderer's Guide, which is always something cool. Um, And if you want to go a little bit heavier than that, there is the $150 collector's level. Not only do you get everything that's mentioned above, you get a desk mat, you get collector's pins, an embroidered dice bag, But another exclusive set of collector's dice, which again, for all of you dice goblins out there, that's pretty neat. So overall, as you can see, you have a lot of content and they've already planned out a bunch of stretch goals that I definitely find it hard to believe aren't going to be reached um, with the level of quality they've thrown into just this content kit. A team that wants to take community feedback Um, A lot of the artwork isn't classified as final because they want to see what people think of it. They want to see if there's things they need to change. They want to listen to those of you interested and those of you that want to buy in, which if you're familiar with Desks and Dorks, you know that community-driven results are exactly what we do. That's our shtick. So I love to see it in a large project like this and with the quality that's coming into it. It's definitely great to see. Um, And for those of you that are like me, And like shiny things, have a little bit of crow in you. There is a 48-hour exclusive coin if you're one of the first backers on there so that you can get a little metal coin, which, as a sucker for shiny things, definitely worthwhile. So, again, you just click that link to get notified when the Wanderer's Guide goes live on Kickstarter. But in the meantime, feel free to check out some of our work over at DesksAndDorks.org. Or you can listen to the podcast. You can check on our reviews on any of your favorite streaming sites or YouTube For those of you that are local to us in Hanover, Pennsylvania, let us know if you'd be interested in joining a game at our partner Let's Play Games and Hobbies down on Carlisle Street featuring The Wanderer's Guide. That's definitely something we'd be interested in doing. Be fun to play with you guys a little bit and, of course, to check out this. Again, guys, we really appreciate you listening, and I cannot wait until November 10th. Thank you again.